Okay, first things first here, I wanna talk about the tools and we're not gonna get into um, soldering for plumbing, but this is more like uh, soldering for electrical circuits or um, automotive or, or something that you might be doing with your, your motorcycle. So uh, first, you, you don't really need um, an elaborate soldering iron if you're just gonna be doing something simple like you know maybe soldering uh, some wires together or soldering some wires to something here. And uh, this is what I'm gonna to demonstrate today. We're gonna to solder some wires to this switch. So this, um, this soldering iron right here would do the job. It's just a uh, plug-in type soldering iron. Um, it helps to have a uh, stand to put this in, but not 100% necessary. Just be very, very careful because these get super hot. Um, I think it gets between, I don't know, 600, 500 to 800 degrees. So um, anyway, just safety precaution. Uh, you will burn yourself if you touch it. Trust me. Hey gang, if you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And then the other thing is the, the size of the iron. Um, this would do most smaller jobs here, this one. And then this guy here, um, this is like the, the big Bertha. And uh, this would be for very large um, contacts or something like that. So um, you really have to have the right iron for the tool because if you were trying to solder something large or something with a very big uh, ground plane on a circuit board or something like that, this one will not do the job. You need a, a larger uh, tip and a higher wattage iron. Now, we can get a little bit more elaborate here and I, I have, I bought this off of Amazon and I forget what it cost me. It was probably in the $100 range or something like that. Basically, it has the, the power supply here and then you have the soldering iron and then this would get plugged into the, the power unit and this would be um, something to get the um, debris or uh, prep the, the uh, tip on the soldering iron so that's important and we'll get into that and then uh, usually a sponge for uh, a damp sponge just for um, getting the cleaning the tip so uh, this does have a a base to hold the the iron while it's it's hot obviously you don't want to put that on a plastic table or something like what we have here it'll burn right through it um, <clears throat> so anyway I'm gonna get this thing plugged in here and um, we'll we'll start doing a little bit of a demo okay so we'll talk about a couple other things here um, basically this this more uh, complex soldering iron it does come with some tips that are changeable and you can see here that you know there's a larger tip there's uh there's a fine point there's a smooth uh smooth edge and then there's a couple of flat edges in there so basically the right tip for what you're working on um again we are just going to be soldering some wires here so it's not super important what sort of tip it is um, you can see over here that actually the the temperature here is up to 795 degrees um, that might be a little bit high uh, there is some other stuff here um, there's actually some flux in the bottom of this and you could actually uh, dip the uh, the hot solder tip into there to get it prepped uh, flux does help and then uh, brush that off on the um, on the metal or uh, if this sponge is wetted you can you can actually wipe it off on there too now one thing that does help is if you 
And uh, actually, we didn't talk about the solder, but you can see here that this is lead-free solder wire. There is leaded solder wire, um, but for the most part, um, that's being done away with because of environmental concerns and health concerns. So uh, what I did was I just wetted the tip of the, the soldering iron. And then we'll just go ahead and, and brush that off again. I'm going to put it back in the, the stand. And what I want to do is get my, get my workpiece in there. And then what I'm going to try to do here is solder a couple of wires to this switch. You can see it's got the contacts here and I'm going to uh, get those wires soldered to the switch. So first things first, I've got to prep, prep the wires. I'm going to use my wire stripper and just strip the ends off. And then you do want to um, twist them. You don't want to have any frayed edges on these wires or frayed strands, let's say. So I'm actually going to put solder on the wires before I, before I solder them onto the switch. So let me get a close up shot here. Okay, so hopefully you can see what's going on here. And I'm going to uh, prep my, my soldering iron again. You want to keep this solder tip clean and shiny. So again, it helps to, it helps to uh, wet the solder tip. And then I'm going to place this on the wire and when you have a little bit of solder on the tip, it helps heat up the, uh, the wire if we can hold it steady. Okay, there we go. So now what I've got is tinned wires and I'm going to solder these to the switch. I'm just going to solder or heat, heat the contact up on the switch and you, you can see that it takes a little bit to um, get that hot enough to melt the solder because basically the lead, um, you're heating up the lead. You're not, you're not pushing the solder into the iron, you're pushing the solder into the the item that's um, that's being soldered. Okay, and now I've got solder on the um, the wire and on the lead, and I'm going to try to heat both of them up at the same time. Okay, you see how that goes? I didn't have to add any additional solder. All right, so I'm going to clean my solder tip again and maybe add a little bit more solder to the tip. You can see that. And now I'm going to heat up the, the contact and the wire at the same time with that solder that's on the tip. Okay, so mission accomplished. I'm um, going to try to get you a real close-up shot here so you can see. But here you can see that um, the solder is on the wire and on the contact. And when, you, um, when you're done here, actually the solder should be um, nice and shiny. If it's, if it's dull, um, that could mean that you have a bad... Uh, solder joint there and that's something that you want to be careful of, about okay so just to kind of wrap things up here um, we've got the right tool for the job uh, temperature you know pretty darn close to, to 800 degrees there for what we're doing 
Um, some things might take a little bit lower temperature and then we want to keep the solder tip clean and also um, wetted with with the appropriate solder and then um, <clears throat> we have some other tools like the flux the metal um, scrubby thing I, I forget what to call it but uh, you can also use a wetted sponge to clean that solder tip um, a lot of times tweezers come in handy and then a side cutter needle nose wire stripper and then finally uh, preparing uh, the, the leads or I'm sorry the uh, the wire so you would tin the end of the wire and then you also tin the item that you're soldering to and then finally um, put some extra solder on the tip and heat them up together um, it is in this case I did not do a mechanical joint where I bend the wire around the um, uh, the contact or put it through a hole that would be uh, advised if you if you are soldering something that is critical um, or maybe that the wire heats up there's a lot of current going through it or something like that you want to make sure you have a mechanical joint in addition to the solder joint so uh, those are my soldering tips i hope that helps you and uh, see you next time.